All right, what's up, guys? So we are back, and for this one, I tweeted this out a little while ago. I wanted to make a video, but I saw Obama made a video talking about how right now is a is a bad time to be a fighting game player, or it's a hard time to be a fighting game player. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me share my thoughts. So uh, I'm gonna ramble for this one. So get get ready. This is what I like to do. But I think right now, right now the world is is, is you know on fire with the Corona. But I think if you're a fighting game fan, I think right now is a great time to be a fighting game fan. Specifically, like right now. So, just, you know, the FTC always goes in waves, there's ups and downs, and there's different times and everything right now. But what's happening right now, even though there's no offline events, we're kind of at the end of a of an era. We're kind of at the end of a, of a season, I guess you could say, and we're about to start a new one. So, the main titles, so let's just start, like Street Fighter Five, Street Fighter Five. of course, this is the biggest fighting game in the world, even if you don't like it, you know, even if you're not a fan of it, you have to uh, acknowledge it's the biggest fighting game in the world. It, people are expecting next year, huh? This is the Season 5 roadmap, right? A lot of people are saying Season 5 is the last season. So, let's say 2022, new Street Fighter comes out. That's huge. Guilty Gear Strive right now. This game is, is incredible. It's making waves all over, not just the FTC, but all over, you know, just the video game world right now. So, again, brand new game. Like, the next era of Guilty Gear is coming out. Next era of Street Fighter is coming out. Uh, King of Fighters 15 as well. If you're a King of Fighters fan, you're an SNK fan, 15 coming out as well. A new game. This is the next era, like the next step. Rollback is announced. Now, I couldn't find a good picture for this. I just Googled it, but Tekken 8, Tekken 8, you know, a lot of people are expecting next year. Like Tekken's been out for a long time. The players are, are wanting Tekken 8. Uh, it's like, let's get the next season. So all these major titles, right? All these major titles, maybe next year, within a year, but it's coming soon. We're going to start seeing these updates, these new games coming out. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, all these other new titles, right? So we have uh, the mystery, was it Project L, the Riot game, whenever that's coming out. We got the DFO fighter. We have all the side games and everything. But there's tons of new new stuff coming out. So that, that already off the bat is very, very exciting, right? If, if, if you're new to fighting games, right, if you've just gotten around recently, I'm telling you, this is always, like, a really big moment. You know, everyone talks about 09ers, 09ers, but 09 was a godlike year when, like, Street Fighter 4 came out. So you're very, uh, 5 five two in what twenty sixteen right that's basically I guess everything kind of final you you kind of go with with Street Fighter if you look at that because they all the games released around there but anyway so all these new games are coming out and what's really exciting for this arc or this era previously up until now all the Japanese devs kind of designed games for Japan so I've talked about this before uh, fighting games were designed for arcades fighting games were designed with arcades in mind the Japanese scene in mind the overseas audience. Like PC, console, who cares? It's a second thought. But that is that is completely not true anymore. So this is just a picture just to represent, if you know about this uh, round table right now. Some people, like I know Sejam is not happy about this. He's negative Nancy. You know, he's like, oh man, this round table sucks. But the idea to me that these Japanese devs kind of re recognize, they're like, oh crap. They're all getting together now. They're all talking to... The overseas audience, right? They are thinking about what they need, what the overseas audience wants and everything. That's that's a huge sign. So they're listening, right? They they are now aware, listening, and it's honestly it's probably the main focus now. Since arcades are kind of arcades are kind of done, right? These companies need to stay afloat. They're starting to listen. And you can just look at it's Strive, right? So look at Strive. Strive got rollback specifically because the devs are listening to the overseas audience. King Fighters 15 just happened this week, right? Devs are listening to the overseas audience. The, the overseas audience, you guys watching this, you are now the main target. You're now the main consumer. So I, I'm telling you, this things are going to change from back in the day. Again, if you weren't around back in the day, you might not know. When we used to get actually thrown to the side, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. But this is going to be like the first era where at least new games come out that are designed for all you guys in the foreign market. So then other stuff too, if you're a fighting game fan, is back in the day, we had this guy. Maximilian. Maximilian Dude. This is uh, basically... All we had, right? And, and not us. It's not just us. It's anybody, even the casual fans. Even if you're not watching this channel right now, like your friends, your neighbors, you had to go to the dude right here, right? All He was the only guy really out here, you know, covering the FGC. He was the only guy putting out content for the FGC. And it's very, very important, you know, growing to grow the community. You need people out there that are grinding, putting it out. But, you know, just this year, like Justin Wong, it, like Justin started from nothing. Look, he's almost at 100K. Right? So Justin out here putting out new content every day. Just bringing eyes to the scene. You got, like, Punk, right? He's a, a another, like, champ. He represents on the young kids right here. Like, you even got, you can get Sejam. Everyone loves Sejam. He's not even a player. He's a commentator. A caster. 
but these are just examples, right? There's tons. There's tons of like new. It's a lot of young people too, right? The the next generation or the current generation, whatever you want to call them, these these young kids are now, you know, building their Twitch channels. They're building YouTube channels. They're getting a bunch of casual fans and more eyes and more content. And like that's so important. It's so great for the FGC, and it's something that back in the day it just wasn't there, right? So this this is a great thing, right? This is a great thing. Uh, other things that are are really cool right now. It's kind of an off product of not being able to play offline is that we are seeing some resurgence of old games. So for example, just like Alpha 2, you know, recently Alpha 2 has been coming back. It's been coming back. We're seeing people playing online. Uh, Alpha 2, of course, last year we had the Guilty Gear with the rollback patch, but there's like a resurgence of this old game, these old games, and it's all thanks to kind of fight game. So, you know, this is, this is, a, this is great. A lot of new players. There's a lot of new FGC players that are just getting in you know, they picked up a Street Fighter Five or whatever. They picked up with whatever, you know? They might have been familiar with these old games, but they never actually had a chance to play them. But I'm seeing more and more of it now. You know, I'm seeing more and more of it now, at least on social media and everything, of people going back, right? They're going back, you know? Like, damn, these new games kind of suck. Let me go back and try an old, an old game. V-Sav, yeah, everyone, people like V-Sav and everything. So, you know, if you want, like, back in the day, you know, talking about going to the arcade, like, you have to... Get on a bus. You have to walk a mile and play in the arcades. Like now, if you like fighting games, even if you, you've never played these games, it's just everything is so accessible. You can just get on, play whatever you want. It's just you can do whatever you want right now with NEF. You see, there's other stuff. I made a video about this, but this is cool too. This all this is maybe not relevant to a lot of people watching, but to me personally, this is very cool. So seeing Matcharino grow, and it's not just Matcharino, but also uh, you know prize money in general. Players getting sponsored, even though I think there was kind of a little esports bubble pop, but uh, you know, players getting sponsored. Players earlier talking about streaming and YouTube, and you know, being able to not turn into a career. I'm not. I'm not advising anybody to chase a career in the FTC, but you know, able to kind of put more time into their hobby because they are getting some sort of return right there. So these are all just things. Like overall, overall, you know, I see so much negativity. I, I don't think it's specifically FTC. I just think people in general love being. Negative? Miserable? Is that is that what I want to say? But you know, there's so much complaining about everything, like FTC sucks, blah, 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 blah. It's like, dude, right now is a great time. Right now is a great time. And I feel like it's just a start. You know, it's not prime time. I'm saying like, this this stuff is, is about to blow up, I think. I think 2021 and is going to be the lead in. And then like 2022 is going to be like, this is going to be a, a crazy time in the FTC. You're going to, in 10 years from now, you're going to be calling people 2022ers, I think. I think that's going to be a thing. But is it all is it all good? No, it's not. Of course, the main thing for everybody, I think, if you're an FTC member, is the lack of offline. So I, I understand. I think that was Obama's point, is that it's really hard to care about fighting games without offline, you know, without offline play. And I understand that. Uh, fighting games are definitely the most fun when you can play with people offline. But something that I think we all take for granted is that a lot of people don't have to, a lot of people can play offline, you know? It's like when we talk about the FGC, we talk about it's like oh, us, us, you know, us tournament players, us guys that can travel around the majors and Evo and these big locals like Fighting Tuesday. But there's so many people, there's so many copies being sold. There's probably a lot of people that never, you know, they were never able to go to these tournaments. They were never able to do anything at all. And so now Netcode is getting better. You know, Netplay is getting better. People are getting more of a chance to, to kind of get involved. And eventually, eventually, we're going to be able to come back offline. Hopefully by next year, hopefully next year we can get back to offline, but I know it sucks. I know everyone wants to go to the offline events, but if you look at everything else happening right now, if you look at everything else happening right now in the FTC, I think right now really is, it's a great time to be a fighting game fan. Call me a shill. You say I'm, I'm a shill. I, I'm, I'm whatever, but I'm just old, man. I'm just old. I'm just trying to, trying to stay positive. If you guys are just miserable and negative, like I was all the time, you're going to lose your hair. You're going to end up like me. I'm telling you, it's your last chance. You have to, you gotta, gotta look at the bright side. You gotta look at the bright side once in a while. Trust me, trust me. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to ram. I just wanted to share my thoughts, man. I really, I really am looking forward to, to where FTC is going. I've been just seeing all the, these, these positive changes happening now, and I can't wait. Once it all comes out and once offline is back, I think it's going to be, remember we're in the dark ages. I think it's going to be one of the, the gold, uh, golden era for the FTC. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or disagree. If you think I'm a shill. If you think uh, fighting games suck, but you can't quit them for some reason, I don't know. But leave a comment, and I'll get back to you in the next one. Peace.